quite a quick video today. So this is a phone. Um, quite a sad one, as you can probably tell. Um, it's very old. It's not very good. Now, USB cable. USB runs off 5 volts, if you don't know, but you probably do. So if I plug this into this power supply, it should charge the phone. Trying to do this one-handed is proving to be difficult. Right, so that's plugged into there. That's giving 5 volts, and you can see it's starting to draw some current. And it's hard to tell if it's charging, but I think it is. But that ain't a normal power supply. I can don't have to put 5 volts. I can go right up. All the way to 30, or at least, apparently, at a maximum of 5 amps. So I'm going to plug this in and charge this phone with 30 volts and see what happens. Right, don't know what's going to happen. I've got the back on it. So we're at 29-ish volts, 5 amps, so you should be able to see that. It is turned on at the moment. I don't know how well visible that is. So I'm just going to plug it in to have got a bucket of water on standby. Got 4.9 amps. The screen is still on. It's dropped down to 4 volts. Something shorted. It is still sort of responsive. Okay, at the moment, still got five amps ish. USB cable's getting a bit warm. Can't tell if it still thinks it's charging or not, the screen's too broken to tell. I was going somewhere. It's warm. The USB plugs a bit. The back is quite warm. Oh, hang on. The screen's moved. It does not think it's charging. <laughs> Which one, Teddy? Oh, it's turned off now. What do you want? Has it gone? Has it died? Well, what do you want? What do you want? Oh, hang on, it's unplugged. Straight back to five amps. Ooh, it's right, really hot there. Teddy, don't shout. You stood right next to it. Battery is not smell warm. Smell that burning. Can you? Yeah. Just stick it on a car battery. <laughs> Teddy, what do you want? Not that eventful. Take the battery out, see what happens. Still do it, so something's shorted internally. Okay, we have now got the battery directly connected to the power supply now due to the way these power supplies work i cannot connect it and then do stuff with the voltages because there's a diode that would short it so i have to set it to at least above the battery voltage so i think i'm gonna go for 12 and i'm gonna connect and hope that this connection has worked and we're gonna see what happens oh yeah we drew a bit of current briefly. We have stopped now. Let's keep going up. We're drawing a little bit, but not much. 
I think the protection circuitry has kicked in. Oh, no, no, we're going again. Five amps. I'm standing back. I can hear noises. It's crackling. There's some smoke. Got in nine volts, five amps. Oh, it stinks now. Gosh, that smells. Smoke is slowing down. Still drawing current. I think we're going to give it a couple more seconds and then. Yeah, it's definitely warm. Still pushing as much current as we can. This can only do five amps that power supply, so oh, it's glowing. I can see a little red glow in there. I don't know how if you can, just about. Probably not doing anything, but. It doesn't feel warm. At least not where I touched. There you I've disconnected it. It's gone, mate. Look at that, it's a circle now. <coughs> oh. There we go. That's the end of that one. There's another litre of carbon in the atmosphere. There we go, global warming. We love you. Anyway, this concludes the video. Okay, so examining it, it's really hot here. Hang on, make sure you can see that. It's really hot there, where the uh, charging circuit is or something. The battery didn't really get any warm, so it's clearly just shorted something out internally. Um, Is a very sad phone. I mean, it might just. Yeah, that's uh. pretty gone. Will it still turn on? The power button's broken, so it's hard to tell. I can't get it to turn on. I think I uh, think she's gone, mate. Okay, uh, an attempt to keep this interesting. I'll be back in a moment.